here at the Rochester International Jazz Festival, Friday night, June 22nd, 2018. Okay, folks. You need repentance tonight. Because one night, day, you're going to be accountable to Jesus Christ. He's coming again someday. It is appointed unto men once to die. But after this comes the judgment. That's right, folks. We've come out here tonight to warn men of the judgment of God to come. And a lot of people tonight, they're not, they're indifferent to the gospel, they're indifferent to the things of God. But I'm going to tell you right now tonight that God is not willing that you perish. But if you fail to seek God and you fail to seek His righteousness, then you're going to die in your sin. The wages, the wages of sin is death tonight, folks. That's right. You know drunkards are not going to inherit the kingdom of God? That's right. Be not deceived. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You're not going to fool God on the day of judgment. You're not going to go up to, to you're not going to go up, you're not going to talk back to God. God says that your mouth's going to be shut in the day of judgment. Every mouth will be quiet and all the world will become guilty before God. That's what's going to happen to you tonight, man. You're going to, your mouth is going to be shut and you're going to be guilty before God because you didn't want to hear the righteousness of God. You wanted pleasure in your flesh tonight. You wanted pleasure in the things of the flesh and not the things of God. But I'm telling you tonight, the Lord Jesus Christ, He came into this world to save sinners. He came into the world to save you. And it's God's will that men come to the knowledge of the truth, that they call upon the name of the Lord, that they might be saved. Oh, no. You can see what I'm talking about, folks, tonight. That's a perfect example right there. Preaching the gospel. People have no respect for the gospel. In fact, you're going to be on YouTube, sir, because you're more interested in the men's room than you are about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right, folks. That's where your mind will drink a little less beer and you might not. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you, sir. It's Benitos. I said no, thank you. Do you need more than that? How many times do I got to say no, thank you before you're going to not receive it? You don't have to be a dick. Okay. You're here with the, the Lord. Except a man be born again. You need to, you need to get a cleaner mouth. That's right. You need to clean up your mouth. You wicked, filthy man. You got a filthy, profane mouth. And you're going to be at the judgment of God. You're seeing here's another man. Another man interested in his flyers and not interested in the kingdom of God. Interested in thinking that a Christian is somebody that takes his flyer. You got, you got another thing coming that's right you love your flesh you love your sin but you're going to be accountable to god that's right folks you got an accountability that's right some of you folks tonight you've got filthy profane mouths you love your booze you love your fornication you love all pleasure and flesh but god says be not deceived the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's right, tonight, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. But such were some of you. That's right, folks, if you're not born again, then your sin is gonna be brought up before the kingdom of God. You might, uh, you might think you're a nice person, but in the sight of God, you're going to be unrighteous and you're going to be deceived in that day. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Repent, folks. You need 
to be born again because the wages of sin is death.